Hey there, hiking friends, it's Kelly again. Today is Sunday, March 14th, 2021, and I am checking in from the Cerro Alto campground, halfway between Morro Bay and Atascadero, California. This is my third time visiting this place. I have done the Cerro Alto Peak Hike and the Boy Scout and Bridge Loop, and today I'm feeling really ambitious. I'm going to attempt to do both in one long hike. So, I don't know exactly how many miles this is. I guess I'm gonna find out, but uh, I think I can handle it. I've been training for this for a while. Nowadays, since I've been hiking for the better part of the last year, I can do up to 10 miles a day without any trouble. A little more if I'm inspired. Anyway, without further ado, let's check it out. All right, I've now reached the fork in the trail where the left side goes down towards the middle of the Cerro Alto campground. And the right side winds around the mountain, back down into the canyon along the river, the ravine, ends up about the same place. The two trailheads actually are only maybe a few hundred feet apart as far as uh, when you start. All right, I'm back on the Cerro Alto Summit Trail and uh, getting a little bit of reprieve here from the uphill. Actually, on a slight little downhill section. And I'm flat for a bit, flat for a minute, and heads back up. Ah. Okay, so I guess uh, I made a wrong turn. I, I guess I was supposed to turn left at one of those lower forks in the trail to get back on the Cerro Alto uh, Summit Trail. I ended up on the uh, backside of the Boy Scout and Bridge Loop. I remember this. Last time I was up here, I made my way up from that way, up the Boy Scout and Bridge Loop Trail. And then when I got to Tivri Tower Road, I wasn't sure where the trail started up again. So what happens is, uh, the Boy Scout and Bridge Trail winds its way up through a little eucalyptus forest down there about a half a mile. It joins up with, this is uh, the backside of TV Tower Road. This is the road you get from the top of the Cuesta Grade. If you pull over to the right as you're heading south on the 101, just at the top of the grade, there's a little road and it's uh, paved for about a half a mile and it turns into a dirt road and it snakes its way up along another couple miles to um, the TV uh, antenna for uh, KSBY, the local TV affiliate, SNBC or whatever. Anyway, if you keep following this TV tower road, it uh, dead ends into a big camping area right along the uh, Boy Scout and Bridge Loop. So now what I'm trying to do is find my way back up there to get to the top of Cerro Alto. And this little stretch of trail, I haven't done yet. So even though I made a wrong turn and ended up on part of the trail that I'd already done before, I'm about to explore some new territory right now. So there's 
two motorbikes is something I'm not used to seeing on the trails. See plenty of mountain bikers and hikers, occasionally a horse back rider, no motorbikes. All right. Hell of a view. Nice day. Sun's coming out a little bit. There's Hollister Peak. There's Cerro Cabrillo. There's Black Hill. There's Morro Rock. You can see all the way to fucking Valencia Peak and Montana de Oro. I think that's Hazard Peak way in the background, give or take um, Oats Peak. Ah, very nice day today. All right, so I looked at the map here and it looks like both of these forks will take me to the summit trail. So I'm gonna go this way, heading back south by southeast. stretch quarter mile to the top Ladies and gentlemen, I, Kelly Carpenter, <laughs> have reached the top of Cerro Alto for the second time. Oh, wow. Up to the tippy top. Tippy tippy top. Oh, oh boy, I'm tired. All right. I've had a few minutes to rest and get catch my breath here. Back at the top of Cerro Alto, really nice view. You can see uh, the KSBY antenna. See, uh, out over the valley here, moving towards the Tascadero. We're looking north. We got over. Uh, you can see all of Morro Bay, all the way across. There's Hollister Peak, Cerro Cabrillo, Black Hill, Morro Rock. And you can see all the way over to Valencia Peak, Hazard Peak, Oats Peak. And then this way, all the way over across the water to Oceano Dunes on the other side of the, the bay there, past Pismo and all that. So yeah, picked a good day to do it once again. Lucky me. It's interesting, I, there was uh, at least two other people that started the hike down at the bottom about the same time I did. Obviously, they took the other fork, <laughs> and I get to the top, and all of a sudden, there's like about eight or ten other people that just showed up right about the same time. It's weird, but whatever it is what it is. Okay. All right, now it's time to explore some territory I've never been to.
is the top of the ridge trail. There's the top of Cerro Alto right over there where I, where I just was. Slowly making my way along the spine here. Ridge trail to the spine. I'm pretty sure I was at the top of it. It was pretty steep and rocky up there. It would have been a bad fall had I fallen. station resting bench central coast concerned mountain bikers san luis obispo bicycling club no shit well that was very nice of them to put this bench here <laughs> so this is one of those times i got to give props once again to the uh, san luis obispo county uh, department of parks and recreation for doing such a wonderful job of maintaining these trails and providing these lovely benches every so often to sit down and rest and especially in a place like this to take in the beautiful view at the same time really cool doesn't get much better than this I'm heading down TV Tower Road from the top of Cerro Alto, making my way into this little eucalyptus forest. All right, I am now in the OHV camping area at the top of the Boy Scout and Bridge Loop Trail. I've been here before, obviously. I came down and around. I don't know where that goes. Somewhere far away from my car, I know that. I would imagine it ends up somewhere down towards Morro Bay, I don't know. But uh, I'm not going down there today. This is a long way back. I'm already about five miles into this thing, give or take, and uh, yeah, I'm <laughs> winding down. So yeah, I was up there, way the fuck up there. All those rocks on the ridge i was there today now i'm coming back now i gotta go uphill a little bit go along the ridge Fuck. 
this when I thought I was done climbing hills today. Ah. Again, another offshoot trail that I just don't have the time or energy to explore. Not today, anyway. I'm getting back to my car. It's gonna be a feat in and of itself. Finding my way down the Boy Scout and Bridge Loop on the back side. We're right along Highway 41 here. Can't quite see it, but you can hear it. It's right there. I'm almost to the bottom, and then I have to hike my way up the road about a mile or so back to the car. Anyway, I'm already on my third GoPro battery today. So yeah, this was a long one. Holy. I guess I always wondered what was along this section of the road. I guess I'm gonna find out now. Look at this. Oh my god. Right. Oops, a daisy. Okay. I am across. Shit. I'm now on Highway 41. Whoops. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> okay then. Not terribly off course. Oh, wow. Wow, how did I get here? So near as I can figure, somewhere towards the top of this thing winding down, I made a wrong turn. And I ended up in one of the offshoot trails that takes you into this little canyon along Highway 41. Um. I don't know the name of this river, I'll have to look it up. Anyway, I just added like another mile to the hike here by doing that. Oh well. All right, <laughs> so after my little unexpected detour up Highway 41, I'm back at the entrance to the Cerro Alto campground, which means I'm about a mile, mile and a quarter back to my car up this road. So like I said, I got about a mile to go just up this service road. This is the access road to the campground. As much as it sucks paying 10 bucks to use this place, it's totally worth it for peace of mind. Because last time I did this hike, I parked up the road and I was just thinking the whole way, God, I hope my car doesn't get towed. So 10 bucks is a very small price to pay for peace of mind. All right, back to the car. Four hours and six minutes, 7.8 miles. I was surprised I didn't do more than that, but okay, I'll take it. Not bad. So you did, did a big loop up there? I did. Wow. <sighs> yeah, quite a day, quite an adventure. I'm tired. Anyway, <laughs> it's another one for the record books. Not quite. My record is 16 miles in Montana to Oro. So until then, this is a nice little warm up. Anyway, this is Kelly signing off from Cerro Alto, and remember as always, keep hiking.